On average, 23,000 cattle have so far been exported on a monthly basis, while only 105,000 have been slaughtered locally. This is about half of what was slaughtered last year. The reason is very simple. Now, in the drought year, you only have a period of around about four to five months, if you're lucky, that the animals would still be in a slaughter condition. So the, the farmers in a, in a drought year have a very narrow period to, to get rid of their animals. Now, a lot of animals that are uh, on, coming onto the market in that short space of time, the abattoirs, uh, under normal circumstances, would not be in a position to slaughter all those numbers. And um, that then trigger a situation whereby many of those livestock that would be offered for the market would then end up being exported live on hoof to um, neighboring uh, destinations, especially South Africa and Angola. Last year, between January and August, live cattle exports amounted to 76,000. For this year, over the same period, live exports amount to 193,000 cattle, an increase of over 152% in cattle exports. The impact of the drought will not only affect the red meat business this year alone, but it will have significant policy implications for years to come. Next year will be an extremely difficult year for the business and industry, especially the slaughter industry, and especially if it rains. When it rains, uh, the farmers will go into head building, which means that in fact, whatever is available, they will hold it back to actually build their heads again. Now that process in a normal course after the drought would take anything between five to f uh, three to five years. We really think that because of the, the, the low cattle numbers that Namibia had, um, in terms of the cattle population before the drought and you take the number of animals that we are now able to export in this year we really think that the head building process will be in excess of five years to actually just get to almost similar number of animals that we actually had before the drought. I really think that Namibia must introduce for the first time a restocking process so that we actually bring back uh, female animals not only did slaughtering decrease and exports increase, but the quality of meat that ends up on the shelves has dropped, says Shimune. There is clearly less fat. In the past few weeks, Namibia has seen a few raindrops. Hopefully, it is a sign of more rain to come. For the News on One, I'm Francho Olafir.